In this video, we will discuss about spontaneous generation theory in microbiology. Aristotle, he was belonging to 384 to 322 BC period. He articulated the theory of spontaneous generation of organism. It is the notion that life can arise from non-living matter. He emphasized that animals might evolve spontaneously from soil, plants, or other unlike animals. He said that life arose from non-living materials in the material containing vital heat. Aristotle, one of the earliest scholars to articulate this theory, discoveries about this theory persisted till 17th century. Spontaneous generation theory this states that microbes arise automatically in decomposing organic material. Francis O'Reilly, in 17th century, he demonstrated that the appearance of microbes does not result from spontaneous generation theory, but the appearance from eggs laid on the meat by flies. He disproved this theory. But the idea persisted for the new world of microbes. It is the Francis O'Reilly's experiment. What he proved is that first he observed microbes are meat which is placed in a beaker and the open container. He observed formation of microbes in meat. And second time what he did was that he sealed the container with cork and he observed that there is no formation of microbes in meat. And third time, what he did was that he covered the container with a gauze like this structure, like net like structure or cloth. He observed that there is no formation of microbes in meat. So he discovered this theory successfully, but this theory persisted for the new world of microbes. T. Needham in 1748 experienced the appearance of the organisms not present previously and concluded that these organisms appeared from the decomposition of vegetables and meat. And he said that if food, be, food would remain clearly indefinitely if it is boiled and properly steamed. This discovery was later unconfirmed in the early 19th century when Nicholas Appert developed a art of food preservation by Camille. In 1837, Swan was also obtained similar results. Preliminary reports on experiments concerning with alcoholic fermentation and putrefaction or given by Swan and Labour. To give more weightage, Calder and Wander, they introduced use of cotton plug to remove airborne contaminants, which is still in use. It is about spontaneous generation. Uh, next video on golden era of microbiology. Louis Pasteur.